everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But on this episode, we are tasting and reviewing a collaboration beer between three breweries. And those breweries are Figueroa Mountain, which is located in Los Olivos, California. Ennegrin Brewing, which is located in Moore Park, California. And lastly, Urban Roots Brewing, which is located in Sacramento, California. So for the last few years, Figueroa Mountain has hosted a beer festival called Lagerville. So this limited release beer that we're tasting was brewed specifically for that event. So let me grab the can. So this Lagerville, this is a dark lager, or more specifically, a Czech style dark lager, which is also known as a Tamave Pivo. And I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, although my Czech is a little bit rusty. So this Czech style dark lager, this beer clocks in at 5.2% ABV, and it is made with two different Czech hops. And those hops are Saez, S-A-A-Z, and Kazbek, K-A-Z-B-E-K. So I do not know the IBU though. But with all that, and I know that was a mouthful, uh, I'm cracking this open, I'm parched. Let's get the fun started. Here we go, boom, boom, one, two. Oh, we got some splash, we got some foam, and uh, a little bit of smoke. But let me give up, I get a pour. Oh, have it pour before it spills over. And if it spills over, we'll clean it up later. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, well, a lot of foam on that one. A lot of foam. Yeah, we got a lot of foam on that. I think I'm going to have to drink some of the foam. Um, although it is dis dissipating pretty quickly. Shocking. Uh, but first and foremost, the color, that's a dark lager. We're not seeing through that. Now, it is not black. It is not brown. It is a very, very, very dark ruby red. I can see some red tint in there through light. Not sure you can see that on camera, but it's definitely red. Now... Uh, yeah, let me uh, drink down some foam real quick. Hold on. Ah, that should do it. Ah, one more swig. Mm. All right, that should do it. Anyways, let me pour a little bit more here now. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's give this bad boy a swirl and give it a nose. What do we got going on? What do we got? What do we got? This Czech-style dark lager. Tamave Pivo. Hmm, maybe. Uh, anyways, let me give it a nose. Okay, all right. We are getting some cereal grains. Slight hint of bitter chocolate. Slight hint of bitter coffee. And one more, one more. Yeah, some doughy notes kind of rounding out, uh, rounding it out. But first and foremost, the cereal grains. The cereal grains, it's rather bready, it's coming through. Um, but I'm going to keep swirling this. I'm hoping the foam, the uh, carbonation will, you know, die down a little bit. I mean, it's got nice color, even though it's a, whoa, wave, all that, uh, how many fingers, four or five? I don't know, but it's got nice color, that uh, khaki colored carbonation, but... Uh, all right, that's enough. Let me uh, let me give this a sippy sip. Pearls, baby, dark lager. Well, that's a light-bodied beer. I did not think that. I thought that would at least be a medium-bodied beer, but that's a light-bodied beer. <whistles> Flavor-wise, though, what are we getting? Well, first and foremost, some sweet malt. That dark roasted. Malt that is a little bit sweet. That dark sweet malt is coming through. On top of a little bit of that bitter coffee. Not too much. Just a little slight little uh, hint of bitter coffee coming through. Slight, slight hint of burnt toast on the background. And interestingly enough, there are some grassy notes coming through, which I did not expect at all. Um, this is an interesting beer. I gotta admit, this beer is pretty good. Uh, I mean, at a beer festival in the middle of summer, I could see uh, drinking a few of these. This is a good beer. Now, what would I give this on the pint meter? 
I think I'm going to give this collaboration beer. Da, da, da. I'm going to give this beer a 7.5. Nice job. Very nice job. Uh, only complaints. Not really complaints, just little qualms. I wish the uh, the body was a little bit heavier. Not much, just a little bit heavier. Uh, it is a little too light body. I wish this was boop, uh, boosted up. I'll say boosted up. Right? A little bit heavier mouthfeel. Not much, just a little bit. And also, I wish, while I like that the, the roasted malts are forward, the cereal grains are forward, I wish a little bit of that coffee was coming through. Just a hair, just a hair more. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take one, one more quick sip. I like this beer, and I think if you can find it, go get a uh, go get a four pack. And I want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsapplepinton.com, or the blog, which is www.pubsapplepinton.blogspot.com. And with that, we will see you on the next episode. So raise that pint. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.